Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy with your boy the Rat Lounge, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go toss some salads. Already knew that. Hello, B Sebastian. Can I help you? Why the fuck are you talking to me like that? I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. Not everybody's as good as me. Who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was exciting. Death, certainly, but <clears throat> quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Oh, I threw up some gang signs and they got scared. We can talk more later. Nice to meet you. It's nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Sebastian. Nice you too. Good luck today. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. You don't see anyone, <clears throat> do you? Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills are <clears throat> legendary. We had it handled. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. <clears throat> you more than Kagawa ever could. Yeah, well, okay. Getting some time on my broom before class. You're literally a child and you're saying that you have more experience than a fucking... Shut up. Nice meeting you. I do not like that. That's not ambitious, that's cocky. I, I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. <clears throat> I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. I do like to make an entrance. Ink drinks. <coughs> you're definitely in the right house. Oh, yeah. Let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Though I doubt you're Nice meeting you. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Is all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your <clears throat> stay at Hogwarts. Oh yeah. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Oh, of Especially course not. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? This bitch gonna make me do the OWLs? I played this game, and uh, I played it on, on PlayStation... And you gotta be like level 31 to do the owls. <laughs> so you gotta do like a lot of the fucking like side quests and shit. And like, cause like by the end of the game, you're only like level 24 or 25 or something like that. <clears throat> what is it? It is a wizard's field guy. She just told you what it was, dirtbag. Let's get right into it. This way. 
I oh, bitch, what? Would have appreciated something <laughs> the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. You've been practicing. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. <clears throat> wizarding lore. And this will take me. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Central Hall. You can Rebellion. get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. So to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. <clears throat> A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. Oh, we great. No Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. I mean, he just showed me Lumos and a Revelio. As to the events preceding your arrival, specifically uh. about what happened after that full dragon attack. Ooh. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for Don't snitch. Don't snitch, everybody. Don't tell her. I'm afraid there isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Hmm. What are you calling me a liar? What are you trying to say? I'm a liar. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. You seem. Everybody knows I'm the most trustworthy man in the world. Foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, <clears throat> I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. I am not homophobic, um, but what I was going to say is that I wish that there was like a pronouns setting in the game so that you could go by whatever pronouns you choose, because I don't like that he called, he said they've, and like referring to me. Because I didn't get what I I was like, who is he talking about? Remember, Who's they? <laughs> your guide will be invaluable to you. And <clears throat> invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Sweet. Let's talk, Elazar. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation? You did. You did. Yes, you did. I did my best. I don't but snitch. I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Oh no! Yeah, for sure. She's she, 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 <laughs> She's not an idiot, so it's like the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon really Oh my gosh. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time. <laughs> and she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, 
I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Got it. We're done. We're done with this conversation. Bye. I, fu I fucking hate charms class. Oh my god. Uh, I'm skipping this part. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's uh. <laughs> Let's learn Accio. Oh man. That is not bad. No, this is literally why I hate it because this fucking task takes so fucking long. It's like a bit pain in the ass to record. That's what's up. each other to pieces on your own time i get new students every year but i only have one hebridean black skull it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878 no doubt you've heard of it now you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern wales and lived to boast about it knowledge To the wise, age matters very little. Today, I <sighs> that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. 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 Yeah, talk shit now. Care to defend yourself, Master Proet? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. See, I like this lady. Levioso. I levioso'd that fucking quill so fast. Now, let's try something Check that out. Check this out. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, good. Well done. Done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by jewelry. We'll start with you two. Oh, you're done, Sebastian. Now, I want a fair jewel using only Levioso, basic cost, and Protego. You may begin. You're done. Idiot. Can't even stand for himself. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> you actually didn't hit me once, so... Transfiguration class. What 
about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, V. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <sighs> ah, there you are. Wish I could fucking apparate. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Roman. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? No, Professor. You're not going to get me to snitch. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign you a first one. No! Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost mm. from your here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Olive. Shut your fucking bitch mouth. I'm eager to get. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Salo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Salo is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand at sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Interesting. Hello, Sebastian. Let us go to Hogsmeade, Sebastian. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. You should be able to... You better be a good tour guide, you useless piece of shit. Oh yeah, I just took the fattest shit of my life. Let's go to Hogsmeade. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. <laughs> Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Rebellion. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get to the librarian's bag, sir? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. Yeah, differing opinions. I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lace from flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Nice. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Oh shit. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. He's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Why do they already 
To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds from all students. Oh, hence the name. Besides this, they think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsby just... No, for real. What's the point of teaching us all these defensive, like, skills and all this other shit if they think we're just gonna fucking die the second we walk out into, like, the forest? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. Places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. Damn, that goes crazy how I'm, how I be seeing the Thestrals now. You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Rebellion. I've always thought Thestrals pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the yeah. rest of your year isn't as eventful. No, for real. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallows. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, well, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I Interesting. Where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. <laughs> oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back. That's crazy, I can't run into people. Fucked up. What about this guy standing right here? What about, the, what about these guys standing here? Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shot or the... <laughs> Never mind. But there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Right through people. Can't fucking kill anybody. Fucked. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. I do. Perfect. And a short list... Let me it's hogs me. Let me get my wand. Fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah. Ten and a half inches? Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. 
Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart strength. This guy's just talking and talking and talking, huh? Let's give this one a try. trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Finally. <clears throat> All right. This is the one. We've got a U one with a Phoenix Feather core. It's supple and it's 13 and a half inches. That's what she said. <laughs> what do you think? Another beginning of a bright and magical future. Absolutely stunning! Now, how did that feel? Good. Didn't Felt so I fucking great. Of some kind. A match. Ugh. Your connections. I absolutely came. All right, now I got my wand. And we've made it to Hogsmeade. So I feel like I'm going to end it there. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Alrighty, goodbye.